American Duchess, Meghan Markle. Here it is. Let's see what the cards have to say. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, come on, subscribe. And thank you very much, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. It seems to me like she's been keeping a low profile and you know so what is going on what's cooking in the background that's what i want to find out and um is, there has to be strategy because this woman moved her career forward like crazy so you know that she's not going to uh, miss a step uh with it concerns her kids and her husband who she does love and uh, her career and the money what she does also love Okay, so just as a refresher, I have one uh, page here about uh, Meghan Markle. So in 1981, she's born Ray, uh, Rachel Meghan Markle. Uh, she's an American. Now she's a uh, British citizen and was born on August 1st, so she's a Leo. And uh, she was raised across the street from a country club in a modest uh, two-bedroom home in the Midland Hills area of Canoga Park, uh, Los Angeles, California, uh, until 1983 when her parents uh, divorced. So she wouldn't have even really been aware of it as a, a baby. Then she and her mom rented a garage apartment in Mid Wilshire, Los Ange Angeles. Uh, and now both residences, uh, those early residences, are about half an hour, or I'm sorry, they're about an hour and a half from her current Montecito mansion. So you may uh, be aware that 11-year-old Megan in 1992 actually was able to get a misogynist dis dish soap commercial changed by, remember this is 1992, by writing an impassioned letter to the manufacturer, 11 years old. So her sense of female empowerment started young and in college, she interned at the American Embassy in Buenos Aires and uh, considered a political career and also attended a study program uh, abroad in Madrid. So let's see now, in 1999, Megan is still at Northwestern U University in Illinois and her acting career began, but had difficulty, she had difficulty getting roles for not being black enough and for not being white enough. So she appeared in daytime soap opera, General Hospital, TV shows, uh, Century City and The War at Home, uh, plus uh, CSI New York and Fringe and also had uh, modeling jobs and was a briefcase girl. Remember those briefcase girls on the U.S. game show Deal or No Deal uh, between acting jobs? Uh, she worked uh, she worked as a freelance uh, calligrapher and taught uh, bookbinding, so that was in between everything else. Now, uh, after her junior year, she interned at the American Embassy in Buenos Aires, considering a political career, and also attended a study abroad program in Madrid. Why am I saying that again? So anyway, in 2003, Megan got a bachelor's degree with a double major in theater and international studies from Northwestern's uh, School of Communication. And then in 2017, Megan, on her blog, recommended Noam Chomsky's book, Who Rules the World? An Examination of the USA rhetoric of freedom and human rights which is often in conflict with its actions a plus picks out nuanced nuanced uh, insights of imperial power and what it shows about American society as an actress activist okay uh, Megan had traveled to Delhi and Mumbai with World Vision whose mission is to gather young leaders from around the world and help them make lasting connections plus create positive change. She uh, met girls and women impacted by the stigmatization of menstrual health and how that actually hinders uh, girls education and girls in India risk uh, girls in India risk of dropping out of school because of the stigma around their periods. Wow so girls in India have a risk of dropping out of school because of the stigma around their uh, periods. That was worth uh, mentioning again. Megan supported World Vision's clean water campaign in Rwanda and was a counselor in One Young World Summits in Dublin, Ireland in 2014 and Ottawa, Canada in uh, 2016. All good stuff. Let's see what the cards tell us now. So, The Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann. Wonderful cards. They're very beachy. They're very now. Uh, the container they come in is really nice. It has some nice thoughts inside. And um, the cards themselves and the guidebook all of this is good. The um, the guidebook, although it's not in color, it's readable 
and uh, it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh, interpret some of these cards. Of course, you know, the interpretation is very personal, so you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you. But they're based on the Rider Waite system, and you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very... Uh, they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. Like I always say, I love to uh, have someone, if we're going to do a reading, kind of spread the cards out like this, and then they kind of get into the game. They start looking at the art, and their mind sort of kind of gets into the uh, into the mode of, of let's get some truth out here. Let's get some, some tarot reading done. So, Lightseer's Tarot, really, really nice cards. Okay, Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex. She's on the move, and let's see what she's got in store for us. So, I want to know, we're just going to start off with something easy. I'm going to say to begin with, let's get a baseline here, or at least get the cards warmed up. Three cards, she love Harry. Does Meghan Markle truly love Harry? One, look at that one jumped out. Two, and three. She truly love Harry. Let's find out what the cards can tell us. Okay, the signifier for that. Okay, this is the Hermit. So the Hermit is, uh, you know, uh, is the the card that's shining a light into the future before they make a move forward. Okay, so that's a thoughtful perspective. Okay, thoughtful perspective. This next card for Does She Love Harry? Okay, Eight of Wands, lots of issues coming at you at the same time. And these are issues are headed toward the center in almost a magical burst of light. So, thoughtful move, thoughtful before you move forward, lots of issues, and a magical burst of light. Does she love Harry? And this is the Queen of Cups. You know, the cups are emotion, compassion, um, uh, um, passion. And the Queen of Cups, this Queen of Cups, is just completely immersed in that passion and looks to be really celebrating uh, that uh, that uh, right there. So, yeah, I say she does. Uh, does she love Harry? As a hermit, it, it took a lot of thoughtful consideration to move forward. So many issues. Uh, coming together at the same time burst into an explosion and then it ends up that she is the queen of cups she's the queen of compassion like the queen of hearts so yeah that's love okay that's good to know I like that so three cards again does she have let me see um, I'm not going to ask about her against the monarchy I'm just going to ask about her and her life with Harry so three cards is she interested in what's best for them as a couple? That's a stupid question. Is she interested in what's good for Harry? I like that. So let me split these cards. Is she interested in what's good for Harry? Is she interested in what's good for Harry? Three cards. One. Two. Three. Is she interested in what's good for Harry? Okay, first card out of the rack, the Fool. Okay, so the Fool is off on a new journey. This person is just letting them fall into the situation, falling in love. The next card, is she interested in what's good for Harry? Ah, death and rebirth. Okay, number 13, death and rebirth. So yes, something had to die. That old life had to die, and this new life had to get started. Third card, is she interested in what's good for Harry? Three of Cups, loving celebrations. Yep, she is. Very good. Okay, I think she's what uh, he needed to establish some sort of a life of his own. And a lot of people won't like to hear me say that, but that's how it seems to me. So now we're going to say a full Celtic cross for Meghan Markle. And I want this to focus on um, what her intentions are. You know, if there's some intentions that are um, against the monarchy, I hope that'll show up. If her intentions are just to build uh, she, hers and Harry's empire, I want that to show up. And if her intentions are to build an empire that is based on compassion and doing good. So I hope that stuff can show up in this drawing. You know what? Let me get one more sh shuffle in there. Let's see what comes forward. Six cards to begin. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, six cards to get started. 
What is a signifier for Meghan Markle, her future, the monarchy, Harry, their endeavors? Signifier card. Okay, this is the Queen of Swords. Okay, truth, justice, rules, law. This is a queen in charge of her truth, justice, rules, and law. That's the signifier. The challenge to that? The Hermit. Again, student, I love when the cards repeat because for me that shows them that they're paying attention and they're playing the game with us. And uh, the Hermit is telling me that this is thoughtful consideration. Truth, justice, rules, law is challenged by thoughtful consideration. The base of this reading then is the Ace of Swords. So this is the Ace of Swords. Swords, again, truth, justice, rules, law. An Ace is a great big offer of that. And you can see the point of this sword, the point of this light, swords are light, uh, really right into the, the, the mind of this uh, this spiraling uh, into this woman's consciousness. So the base of this is an ace of swords, a laser focus into uh, what has to happen here, like that. Past to this reading um, is the star. Okay, so yeah, that's where she was. She she was a star, and so she comes into that uh, with that uh, with that and everything that that brings with it, uh, good and bad. Uh, knowing how to handle the spotlight and stardom and the baggage that comes with it. The sky of this reading is uh, two of swords, making a choice. Two of swords, uh, two of swords of truth and justice, uh, rules law. L very heavy on swords in this reading. Wow. And um, and so this shows someone who's really fighting uh, those choices to see which way they have to go. Okay, and the final, uh, out, the likely outcome of the first part of this then is six of wands, celebrations. Absolutely celebrations. So wands are actions, uh, motions, planning, celebrations. The last part of this for Meghan Markle, the monarchy, Harry, and their endeavors. The self of that question, two of wands, short-term plans. Play, uh, wands are plans, uh, motions, fire, moving forward, actions. The two of wands, self of this question, short-term plans, so a step at a time. The um, environment that that's in is this Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is building something together for public display. Pentacles are worth, value, money. Okay. The hopes and the fears for this right here. Again, the fool. Again, repeating. Starting off on another journey. The hopes and the fears is that they can just let themselves go into this issue. And then the likely outcome for the whole thing is this Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. Happy family, familial wealth, generational value. It's going to work out. It's going to work out for them. Just to go over it again. <clears throat> Wanting to know where is her head. She's the queen of swords, really studying truth, justice, rules, law, in charge. Queen of swords, in charge. Okay, but a queen, not a king. So there's room for Harry at the top of that. It's challenged by this thoughtful consideration, the hermit. Underpinned by this Ace of Swords, this laser focus into the mind. The past of this was the star that she was. The sky of this is the Two of Swords making a choice, difficult decisions. Likely outcome, success. Six of Wands. The self of that question with this Two of Wands making some short term plans. In the environment of Three of Pentacles, Putting something together for public display. I've got a frog in my throat <clears> and <throat> nothing to drink. The hopes and the fears of this are getting off on that new journey and it ends up with generational wealth. Amazing. Well, that's what I got for Megan. So let's see how it all pans out. Um, you know, time will tell. And I can't wait to see what happens as those uh, kids grow up, actually. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.